sinking. So it should sink in the roots now. Give it an extra color and an extra flavor from the charring. What's up soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe if you've already clicked subscribe. Hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos man. Come on, click. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. We're out here in Arangues. And if you're following me on Instagram, you would have seen me a few days ago. Well, it would be a while ago you would have seen this. But um, from the airport, my friend David brought me out here to Sharida's place. And that is where we ended up here. And this place would have been rocking since 2 o'clock this morning, you see, right? Um, since 2 o'clock this morning. And we're here for the, for the lines, man. So, Sharita's place here. Man, this place is busy, boy. And it's been going since 2 o'clock this morning, so. It's crazy, Go ahead, man. Hello, yeah, I see a video going on with you. Yeah, all right, respect. We got all the specials as well, so the different types of roti, there's even some empanadas in here, some buns, different type of dal puri, normal roti. Macaroni pie, shepherd pie, mm -hmm. curry duck, fried and chicken, and chicken, stew beef, we even have yeah. pepper pot, which is That's a guy dish. Pepper pot, so yeah. pepper pot here. What, this is fish, right? Yeah, fried fish. Fried fish. fish. What was this one? Stew beef. Stew beef. Oh, okay. Fried liver, curry goat, yeah. sausage, smoker, sausage. Okay. Shoot chicken, curry chicken. Yeah. Right? Oh, this one is packed over here. Eh? It's a veggie. Okay. Well, mango to curry, red bean, dog, rice. We have a veggie pillow. Your mom showed me that the last one. Right. Okay. Um, that's for, for, no, that's mixed prov well, provision. Oh, okay. Noodles, edibles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a veggie pillow. Pumpkin. and alu. Okro. Bodhi and alu. Karai leaves. Yeah, same and alu. So you keep the vegetables separate from the meats. Yeah. They clean. Okay. Thank you. And the whole production, it all happens. It is busy, man. And a plastic bottle. The roti is here. All right. Here we go. All the roti every morning. Box of shot, dal free. We have empanadas. All right. Full spread. Right. So, yeah. Ishmael, we're back. Nice to see you. Back. I noticed you guys are crazy busy here, man. So this has been going to two o'clock this morning. Yes, yeah, since we started, and uh -huh. we actually had about five persons or more waiting as we opened. And they so you had people outside the gate waiting. They continuously say, "When are y'all opening? When are y'all opening?" Now, until what time does this sort of flow go until? Well, this is a big variety. Yeah. So the um. As time goes by, the variety decreases, but mm -hmm. we open until lunch, because we try to cater to those who simply wake up late yeah. on a Sunday. Those that just don't want to cook because they have so much work, yeah. and then those that many people come and buy food for who's sick and so on. So we try to cook like things that is healthy as well. So like for example, Karaili is something that is a bit on the healthy side to persons with diabetes, and diabetes is one of the number one diseases in Trinidad and Tobago. So we yeah. tend to try to cook it with less oil so that they could carry that to the hospital. So we try to cater to everybody in that aspect. Yeah. So basically on a Sunday we go until about half eleven. Mm -hmm. It depends on how we sale goes because we try to cater to everybody. So we are constantly cooking in batches so it's always hot and fresh and tasty. Lovely. So someone coming into Trinidad for the first time, they're coming over to Sharita's place. What's the address here? 
103 around where's main road? 103 around uh, where's main, main road? road. Um, well, basically, and the night, you could see the sign suspension things opposite around where's that way. Oh, Formerly this is the known, hardware here. Formerly known as Razak Hardware, which I'm grateful to say that is my grandfather. And I'm okay. holding his legacy carrying forward business in around where's because he was one of the first founding business members. In, in around, around where's, really? So and I, um, on I social media, married. how are we finding you on social media? Um, Sharita's Place, we're on Facebook and Instagram. Sharita's Place on Instagram and, and Facebook. Facebook. Um, you could always find us on Maps and Ways. Maps and, oh, so it's already on there, so maps on Google and Maps and Ways as well. So, okay. Question. I know this has been, this is a traditional, this is, you have been here for many years. Right. How long? Give us a timeline. This start, and how this started? This started as a... Well, yeah, honestly, I, as you would have seen, Mom, we are Muslims. Yeah. So we normally, I believe, we started to open about five or something like that. Five, half, four, something like that. And during the month of Ramadan, we mm -hmm. fast. So that's when we start to eat. We have to eat by a certain time before the break of dawn. We fast from the break of dawn until sunset. Okay. So in order to do that, we had to come earlier and cook the food and, and eat for ourselves to go ahead the day. So by doing that, we started to come out early and earlier to ensure that we could taste all the food before we started fasting. Yeah. And while cooking, customers started fasting. The person just started fasting and smelling the food and say, hey, let me get a saddle, let me get this, let me get that. And, you know, they just, they still built from there from when we started. So early, they smell the food. Mm -hmm. And then we had a couple popular entertainers as well visited the place and much thanks to the Rampa Saddle, also known as Wine Boy Entertainment, mm -hmm. has really brought uh, social media brought his crowd from social media to show you this place so we must give thanks to him and as long as Mr. David wears on for the RTD yeah well we, we, we know David <laughs> and Mr. Hugh Ross <coughs> well, well it's a combo I have here you know this that right <laughs> we got true that and we got foodie run TT yeah. but day one when was day one the actual gate opening people allowed to buy we're looking at how, how, how many years now you guys been around yeah, I think yeah, so. That, that one I had to go, yeah, go by moms. Yeah, I go by moms. Moms. <laughs> We're trying to figure out when was the when they started. started at the back in a little basket with little pies, big pies, mm -hmm. uh, chicken pies, smoke carrot pies, salt fish pies. Yeah. You name it, we had it. How many years ago was that? I would say more than 10 years. More than 10 years ago. <laughs> and has grown. <laughs> it has grown. <laughs> From the very beginning, I used to actually walk around selling the pies. Out of a container like that. Wow. A little businessman from small, eh? Yeah. Nice, nice. So it was literally from all the way from the bottom to the top. I hear that, man. I hear that. <laughs> yes. And we started making your um, acres in the back there. You okay. your recipe. You <laughs> made your coconut and uh, your sweet bread recipe as well. Mm -hmm. We did your gizzard. Okay. The tomato, the fried tomato. Yeah. See that? Only hear that? Caribbean pot being represented <laughs> as well. Started well. with me. Vegetarian options here. Vegetarians, you'll be in paradise in this place. Vegans, you'll be in paradise. Because, and you'll get my recipe. Dishes upon no, dishes upon no. dishes. And bad. I'm actually sure. So we're back in the production area now. And you can see that it's in the operator. She's just rolling it out now. And this is the towel here. And there's a flame on the bottom. And this is the oil that she will be using. Yeah. 
Time she started here to here, it takes about maybe four or five minutes to pull the cup out of the cup. And she's sort of golden brown it or something like that. Oh, it's never smelled good by her. maybe about two or three minutes for it to be all done. When it's all done, she brings it over here and you notice know, the different color. You know, it's all swollen in fact. She was to slice them open um, on the side. And that's where you can stop it with some sort of, sort of uh, ingredients you want in it. Sort of circle that out to the tower. And then you'll be using that tower. Special thanks to Foodie Run TT, my guy. True that, true that. How we, how we getting you on social media again? True that, true that. True that TT. Yeah, search for them on all across the board. Mommy, 
Hi. Thanks again for having me. Miss Sharida yeah, herself. It was definitely <laughs> a Ms. pleasure. Miss Sharida herself. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're yeah, very welcome. Hey, you've been waiting for this part here. My three takeaways. One, the food. Simply incredible. Two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Again, this variety of dishes from anything fish related, uh, meat related, as well as um, vegetarians. You're going to have a time, boy. So it's not just the, the variety of food and how good it tastes and stuff like that. It's how fresh it is because the turnover. There's so many people going here. Um, nothing stays in the pan for long and you look over the counter and you're seeing them make it right in front of your eyes um so that in itself is just a gem two the friendly nature of the staff and and the owners and yo know, man they welcome you like family um and three where else can you go two three four o'clock in the morning and get such amazing food um just ready for you to enjoy so yeah, um, I highly recommend, there's nothing I can say bad to be honest with you, you know. Chris here, Galavantin, always a pleasure. Thanks for joining me again. If you know somewhere I should be checking out, hit me a comment down below now. Please and thank you. Adios.